Everyone, I've got another really cool Arbor Scientific product that I get to play around with and talk to you all about. This one is, it's in their cool stuff box, um, it's to investigate center of gravity. And so there are these little plastic uh, things here, brass pins, some markers, and they also have, I have them over here, these devices they're calling pendulums. You use it to explore where the center of gravity is for each of these four uh, little pieces of plastic. And inside the box, there are six sets of this, so you can set up some lab stations. But the idea is you grab any one of these devices, there's a bunch of holes in them, and you hang them from one of those brass pins that they provide. And you can then also grab the little pendulum guy and hang it from the brass pin. And we know that the center of gravity is gonna lie somewhere on this line on object D here. So we grab that dry erase marker and we trace that line on the pendulum and pull it back and say, all right, there's our line somewhere where there's the center of gravity. How do we find this individual point? Well, we move to a different pin. We place the pendulum and the center of gravity is always going to be below where it hangs stably. So again, we can mark the line on D here and there we go. Grab one more just for the video, but you can have your students do all of the points. And again, we should see that center of gravity lies along that line, trace it down. Hopefully your students have better tracing abilities than I do, but we can see the center of gravity for object D is right there. And so it's a really neat way to demonstrate the idea of center of gravity, of being the point below where some odd shape balances. And so there's four shapes for your students to do that. They also have a very large, so here's my hand for reference size here, a shape E, and the center of gravity for shape E lives somewhere in this empty space. And so after you trace out your lines, you can talk about how the center of gravity may be a point in space, but it doesn't necessarily need to be uh, located inside the actual object itself. So. Really neat way to do a center of gravity demonstration. I've seen people do similar things with cardboard before and student cutouts. But this is a nice way to have something that's reusable from year to year and that has specific shapes so you can get that point across of the center of gravity maybe existing in empty space, not on the object. So, neat product. Uh, full disclosure, they gave me this particular box for free if I made this review video. They said I could say whatever I wanted about it. Um, and it's cool. That's what I have to say about it. Uh, yeah, check it out.